Hi friends, it's Tommy, the wellness coach. And if you wanna learn some tips on how to eat more fruits and vegetables, even though you don't really like them, keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Tommy, the wellness coach, and I have been helping people crush their wellness goals for 20 years. And if you're like me, I grew up not liking a whole lot of fruits and vegetables. I, I wanted to like them. <laughs> I just couldn't stand the taste of them. And a lot of children don't because when we're first born, we like a lot of bland, mushy food. And it takes a while as we grow up to develop that palate to accept the taste of either extra bitter or sour, different types of flavors and textures. So grab a piece of paper and pen and go ahead and make a list of all the fruits and vegetables that you have no problem with. And then in the next column, list the fruits and vegetables that you absolutely don't care if you ever have, you don't want them, you don't, you, you know, there's just some that you just can't tolerate. Now, make a list of the rest of fruits and vegetables that you would like to be able to eat more of. You just haven't developed a taste for it or a way that you actually like eating them. So like I said, as you get older, the more exposure you have to that fruit or vegetable, the more you'll start developing a taste for it. So even if it's something you thought you didn't like, but maybe you do want to try to start eating them, go ahead and try some of the old fruits and vegetables that you never liked before, but maybe want to introduce into your meal plan again. Okay, so the first step, you're going to decide how you would prefer that being prepared and experiment. So is this a fruit or vegetable that you're going to eat raw? If it's a vegetable steamed or sauteed, or if it's a different type of fruit, maybe baked. Step number two, Try to match it up with some other flavor so that either the bitterness or the sourness of the fruit or vegetable don't overcome your palate. So choose these three things to pair it with and see if that can help it be a little bit more palatable. Add spices, something sour, or something salty. And then you can add a little bit more of a cushion to make it even more palatable. So once you decide if you want um, uh, spicy, sour, salty, then you're gonna add in something either sweet with it or something with a little bit more of a fatty consistency. So some of the examples, I'm gonna read off my list here. Um, for sweet, maybe adding something with maple, honey, um, or salad, adding fruit, that's another way. And fats would be maybe introducing some different oils, nuts, avocado, maybe a little bit of butter and cheese. So you don't want to douse your fruits and vegetables with heavy saturated fat, but it, if, if it is something like um, bacon, butter, cheese, things like that, just a little bit goes a long way. Just to enhance the flavor to help your palate be more welcoming to that fruit or vegetable. So once you've experimented and you find maybe some other flavors that make it at least tolerable to eat, you don't have to fall in love with it yet, but at least tolerable, the more often you eat that, the more likely that you're gonna start being able to enjoy that fruit or vegetable more or be okay with the flavor. And then if you did wanna cut down on any of the other, let's say you're watching your sodium or sweets or fat, you can start slowly cutting back on those flavors with it to help make that fruit or vegetable even healthier. An extra tip that I do is I grab a little shredder and I shred certain vegetables in my sandwiches, salad, soups. It doesn't add a whole lot of flavor to it, but I still get that nutritional content. And after all, isn't that why we try to eat and get in enough fruits and vegetables? So go ahead, give it a try. It also helps you get enough fiber in for the day and water, so it's well worth your effort to try. And let me know in the comments below, do you have any special ways that you try to get in fruits and vegetables um, on a daily basis or anything that you used to hate, but now you really enjoy as a fruit vegetable? Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And don't forget to check below. I have some free resources just for you. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Oh, 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 oh,